So we we are filming the second episode to my sex show. Oh and my man's gonna be in it too. Cheryl's gonna be in it. Cheryl, let's do Tristan here. Here, baby. Tristan, come be in this video. Or baby, you're the cameraman again. Baby, bring the chair over here. I got rid of the questions. Ask, definitely ask the both for questions. Like, how did, how much you know you? Okay, well, we're we're gonna do this second episode, and then we're gonna do the video, okay? And then we're gonna have our little fun. To disclaim on camera because I'm a freaky bitch. So we're gonna be talking about what the fuck did we? We were talking about some shit earlier. What the fuck did we talk about? Let's talk about sex, baby. Okay. Let's talk about sing the song, Carolyn. Me. Sing it. Let's talk about all the good things. <laughs> Let's talk about all the bad things. Let's talk about all the good things. Okay, so we we are gonna be basically talking about um, lots of other sexual shit that we didn't talk about. Ugh. Like, um, you know, one night stands gone bad, faking orgasms. Oh we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about um, all kinds of other kinky shit because Carolyn's gonna be the host of this motherfucking show. I am always the host. She's gonna be the host. Exactly. I'm just waiting for Troy to get over here. Wow. Do you wanna be in it or not, episode two? I mean you don't have to be in it if you don't want. Okay, well. So I'm going, I guess I'm going to be the motherfucking camera person then while being in it too. No, I can go with camera. Oh, you, you want to be in there this time? I Hold on. I can be in there. Here, here, here. Let me try. Oh, sorry, girl. I'm about there. Let me see. You Let me see. have stuff there. Exactly. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm it. I have it. Here. Here. Tristan, do you want to be camera person again? Oh. Okay, so this time, this is how you get to stop, okay? Is it already on? Yep, it's already on and going. Okay. I'm gonna flip I'm those. Never mind. Okay. Well then, if you're not gonna. Okay. Okay. So, basically, we're about to get into it. So, we're gonna talk about first topic. The host. The host. So, she goes. Hey, host. Put, hey, put everybody. The phone down, put the phone down. So here we are back again with <laughs> the <laughs> sex show. <laughs> um, episode two of our sex show. We gotta get raunchy, you know how it is. Parental <laughs> advisory. If you don't want to talk about sex, you want to think about sex, you need a skedaddle because we about to talk about sex, baby. We fit to talk sex, baby. <laughs> you know how it is. We're gonna talk some raunchy shit about faking it, orgasms, uh, one night damn. stands. Okay, so get you know into how it girl. is. Get into it, girl. All right, so let's talk about it first. Um, First topic on the list. What do you want to talk about? Okay. Bring it up. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Faking it. What about faking it? Faking is it a good thing, a bad thing? Faking orgasm. Have any of you faked your orgasm? Yep. I mean, I've done it myself. Yes. Yes. What do you mean orgasm? <laughs> Look, I slept with this dude. Okay, I'm not kidding you. Motherfucker lasted five minutes this big and then was like, oh, that was better than I thought it would. That was better than I thought it'd be. I was like, you're fucking kidding me, right? Like, I mean, no. I faked it one time and I was just ready to go home. I mean, other than that, if you ain't hitting it, I'm not gonna fake it, I'm sorry. Like, that's rude, but it is what it is. Well, I mean, the only time I've ever faked it, well, actually, I've only faked it, the only time I faked it was with my boyfriend. <laughs> Damn! Oh shit! He faked that you last time. Are you faking? Oh, I'm faking the whole time with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for it. Okay. So next topic. Spilling some tea in this. Bitch. Okay. So next, next one the next topic. Okay. So one night stands gone wrong. You oh wrong. no! How no, many gone? No, how many that no. have gone wrong? No. Nope. One gone wrong. I have done some dumb shit in my life and had more than my fair share of one night stands, if you will. Um, the one that reflects, that I think reflects on most wasn't even a one night stand. It was, I got picked up in the middle of the night, wanted to go hang out with this nigga, I wouldn't fuck him, and he left me <laughs> stranded, and I had to get a ride home. It was terrible. Thank you, Jesus, we were in Granbury and not like some foreign town, but 
that was that's my one night stand gone wrong. And the worst part was we didn't even fuck. Like that's why he left me there is because we didn't fucking fuck. Wait, are you sure? What were you, baby? Well, I went to the pussy house. One of my ex friends. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh, and about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, um, well, he said it was his first time, so he said, "Okay, you should do it with me." So I'm like, "Okay, sure." And that you doing close on me? He's like, "Hey, um, I got a call. I gotta go." So I had to go. Oh, okay. So I basically left and. We didn't even do nothing. That's ridiculous. Hey, hey Sharon. Give me more gas. You know about this one. Well, they don't know. The show don't know. Basically, I had this happened at least twice. I had told my mom that I was going out with someone like Toby or one of my other friends. We didn't have sex, but one wanted to, but they didn't go for it. Damn, girl. That's what I see. Okay, so next topic is friends with benefits. Have any of y'all it's have messy, been, have messy, any of us done messy. it? Messy, messy. And if we've done it, we should share it. It's gonna answer you. It. I'll, I'll give you flat out. Friends with benefits. It never. It usually never works. Like it's a messy situation. Somebody catches feelings. Somebody don't feel the same. Somebody not in a good place to be in a relationship. Whatever the fuck the excuse is, somebody always ends up getting hurt. Like I understand you just want a quick fuck, but like you need to get on fucking POF, get on Mimi, get on Tinder. Go find you a Tinder fuck. <laughs> don't be trying to be like, let's have an ongoing relationship and fuck, but that no is. strings attached. No strings attached don't exist. You're lying. Don't get in my bed. Don't. Friends and sex never work. And you either end up together mm-hmm. or you end up hurt. And, and friends, very friends, they're like three years late. They're three years old now. Yep. And That's, no more benefits. Yep. I mean, you want to talk about friends with benefits? Boo boo, I need health insurance. I need a paycheck. I mean, you want to be my benefit? You know, you want to benefit with me. <laughs> I need insurance. I need to go see the doctor. Like, I ain't trying to play this. You want to hit it because you like me or whatever, but you don't want to be in a relationship. You want to be in a relationship, be in a relationship, but don't fuck your friends unless you're gonna be in a relationship. Yeah, because it's so. just gonna somebody's gonna end up hurt, whether it's you or them, and then it fucks up your friendship. So I had I had a friend with this. His name was Damon. No, I got Damon. I had another oh, friend Jesus. named Damon. <laughs> but I can tell you, I never saw the biggest dick ever. It was almost 10 inches. Jesus Christ. And thick. Did it hurt like a bitch going in? Yeah. We were just in the same I mean, like, we didn't know what we were doing. I was in middle school. He was in middle school. Oh my God. Just, you know, wow, you were fucking in middle school. Wow, baby. I mean, same. you know. I mean, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know nothing about it. He was the one showing me it. And, you know, we went from there. And then we started being friends. And then it's just like. And then he said. Uh, you know, we just friends, and you know, we just, we just, I don't want to do that no more. Hmm. I mean, I like, you say you never want to do it, but every time you want to see me, you want to do it. Mm. I'm confused. And he said, I'm straight. And then one, they always say that. And then, shit. Out, the next year, he had a boyfriend. Then wow. he broke up with that boyfriend and tried to come at me. I'm like, nope. What about you, Sherelle? You ever have one? I haven't had a friend with benefit, but I have had a teenage dick in me. Yeah, I know. Oh, get it, oh, get it, bitch. Did you have to? She, she oh, just spilled some tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, motherfucker, tea. Lord, I have mercy. 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 Yeah, they, they have the biggest yeah. dick. Not always. Not, not always. Not always. Not always. Not always. Some of them have a small one. Some of them have yeah. a big dick. It's not always. <laughs> but I mean, like, I mess around with stealing white boys. So I'm talking like, whoa, like, okay. Hi, y'all. So, sorry, so here's another question I want to ask. So, I'm an answer in a way. What is, okay, so, have y'all, what's the smallest dick y'all have ever been? Hmm. Like, okay, like, straight up. You were kicking oh. it with a dude and you're about to fuck and you're like, where was your, no, 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 where the fuck I is got it? stories on this one. Um, you go, Carolyn, I know, you're asking around. 
I plead the fifth. How many times? I plead the fifth. Five times? I refuse to talk about this. Tell them my story. Tell us. Oh, one time. Okay, one time. My homie here had me call him because he was looking up with this dude. And he was like, literally, like he took a Zans off and I was like, where is it? You know, that's the same one. That's the same one. It's the same one, babe. Well, he was like, where is it? And I was like. It's the same like, one. I got you. That's so so he texts me and he's like, hey, I need you to call me and act like there's an emergency. So, so I had to call and be like, Tristan, I really need you right now so we can get out of fucking this guy. The discount? Um, he, this person, I, I was like, just hooked on over it. I thought it was a dude. What? <laughs> I thought it was a dude and it was a he she. It was oh. trans. Yeah. Had a vagina. I was like, <laughs> Oh, hell no. Bye-bye, bitch. I'm not saying you. We gotta calm down. Well, we're getting too loud. I'm not gonna get in trouble again. This is what I'm gonna say, though. Like, I mean, I did one time. I mean, y'all know the story. I mean, I don't, I don't know. know. That there was a time at the movie theater. Oh, I sucked the motherfucker's dick, and I, I'm looking, and I was like, where, where was it? And I was like, what the fuck? And so, yeah. I somehow managed to suck it, but I was like, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. It's the I've ever sucked, like, ever. Like, oh, oh yeah, you ever run into a dicky do? What the fuck is that? No, I don't know what a dicky do is. I don't know what that is. You Where his guts stick out more than his dicky do. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. I've run into that one. When I just got through talking to one. This is what it. When did you come up with this shit? I didn't come up with it. It was just a term that I heard. Okay, so what else you want to talk about, girl? Let's see. What else? Two more topics. Happen? The craziest sex. Oh, yes. What's the most craziest sex we've ever had, Carolyn? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> of course um, you fucking know. I got really drunk and did some things at a place that I never thought I would do or be or anything else. Exactly. And it was a lot of fun and I loved every fucking second of it and I will gladly go back. But it was the probably one of the craziest things I've ever done. Well, I fucked on the beach a couple of times. I've almost been caught fucking in the car on the beach. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I haven't told me this. Oh, baby. Oh, you tell. <laughs> I'm so, ass. you know Ricky, right? Oh, God. But, him and his girlfriend had sex there. At the back, it was me, Kelton, and Damon. Y'all had a person? And we had a threesome. What the fuck? But, hold on. Me and Damon never touched each other. It's just me. But, a camper was shaking. Oh Everything was falling down. Oh, my God. He had Kelton like... Like, I'm like, and then I was like, ah, ah, ah. What the fuck? Like a fucking monkey, like, what, like, what? Like, he, yeah, and, and <laughs> at one point, at one point, we thought the train, like, fell. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah. You know, the craziest That's sex the crazy shit. I, I probably know. had was at Chili's in the bathroom stall with Butterfingers. Oh, my God. Dad? Why did you call me? Because he didn't want to say his name. Well, you know what? Fuck you, Butterfingers. And then the second craziest sex is probably the time of the camping trip in the bathroom stall. Oh, yeah. And my last fucking time would probably have to be in the parking lot at somewhere. I'm not going to. At Northeast Mall somewhere. Oh, my. Where? No, where? Where? I told you this shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> you got any I crazy got, sex stories I got, my, I got my groceries eaten. Okay, I'm back. Honey, honey. I got so many, but I'm the cameraman. Okay. I'll take a Well, room. the cameraman gets to just shit. Okay. Um, Three more ideas. Mine. Oh, God. God. <laughs> oh, God. Mine's is in the parking lot. It's just How do you know this? How? It's a roller. Oh, what's the Corolla? <laughs> what? Spill the tea. What's what the Corolla? Girl, you better spill the shit. Spill it. Uh, you have the second guy's dick mm. before you throw up on his dick. And you got the second guy's dick. Oh, you suck the free roller ball. Oh, that's a new topic. Food and sex. I say yes. The more food, okay. the better. I gotta come in on this. Please come in on this. Okay. 
All right, y'all want to hear a crazy sex story? <laughs> I was like probably 15, posing as 18 or 19. I went to this sex party. There were like 12 guys. They're all smoking dope, weed, doing whatever. And at the time, I was a bad kid. And I'm like, fuck yeah, free drugs, free alcohol, free dick, whatever. And there's like 13 guys or so. I don't fucking know. I'm high. And next thing you know, I go in there. There's old people, there's young people. And then there's me. I'm a big bitch, okay? I felt very uncomfortable, but this dude was like, eat my ass. He was like, bigger than me, okay? Bigger than me, and I'm big, but like, he wasn't cute big, okay? And I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling it, but I'll, I'll go eat this other dude's ass. It didn't work out for me because some people don't prep themselves. I got the fuck out of So I went and sat in the corner after I went to the bathroom and took care of myself. And then, well, I smoked some more of their drugs. And then I disappeared. I said I had to go to the bathroom again, and I just they all appeared. Bye. Okay, anyway. Okay, so back to my new subject. <laughs> Let's talk about sex and food, y'all. <laughs> sex and food. What, oh. things, what, are, what things are better okay, in this girl. world? Mm. Sex. Whipped cream. Sex and food you, together. Alcohol yes. involved. Girl, you go first. Your favorite sex story for um, food. I played around with, uh, one of my favorite things to do is whipped cream and chocolate. I have taken shots out of people's belly buttons. I've had people take shots out of my belly button. I had a guy fill up a shot glass and put it right between my thighs and then take the shot glass full of liquor with his mouth from between my legs and take the shot. Most sensual thing I've ever had happen because he like licked my thighs. He was like going for that shot glass. Um, I, my personal favorite, I love playing with whipped cream and chocolate. Like, you just get, like, one of those ready whipped cans, and you, like, draw things all over each other, mm -hmm. and then, like, lick it off. Mm, what about candle wax? Like candle wax. Oh, I mm. love candle wax. Well, mine is with my ex, so. I didn't him. Well, you know, with what? With uh, bananas. How the fuck do you have sex with bananas? Yeah, don't, don't. Mm -hmm. But how do you think you have sex but, with bananas? Okay, I put yeah. a little on it. I put a little on the tip. This motherfucker want to put a whole thing in everywhere and get crazy. I'm like, you it's, know, it's not sex no more. Honestly, I'm I've, like, never, ever, like me I've never ever had sex with food, but I want to have sex with pizza though. And food. That'd be fun. That's you gross. Know, this is gross. Or how about you ice need something cream. sensual that you can lick off. Yeah. Honey. How about ice cream? Ice Dang. cream. Dang. How about Tonight? Some ben and Jerry? Tonight? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, let's think of another topic. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. You go, baby. You go, you go. You go. You go. You give us two topics. Your turn. I have a topic. Please do. Mm. You ready for this topic? Yes, baby. Sure, what's your Freakiest shit ever your whole life in sex. Freakiest sex? I thought we already did that. Freakiest sex? Did we do it? Baby. Mm. Hey, we did I got a topic, y'all. Okay, yes, camera oh. person. Threesomes. And the the original people in the group not 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 being able to agree to what it is they do and <laughs> making sure and make it shit complicated. <laughs> Sips okay. okay, this is what I'm gonna say. Shh, 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 shh. We, I, gotta, we gotta quiet. I yeah. know, I know a couple that they start, you know, having threesomes and stuff. But the second time they did it, they didn't set rules and it backfired. But they, they, you know, communicated and now they have rules. But what happens whenever they don't communicate with the other? Is bad for them because they get exactly to arguing and fighting and, and it's, it's, it's not good. Especially it's not whenever the other's completely unattached and has no issue with anything. Okay, so yeah. hey, uh -huh. here's another topic. Uh -huh. Would y'all ever, ever, any of y'all ever, ever go to a, a big ass orgy party? I've <laughs> been there, done that. I've, I've been to a couple of parties. But like, I mean, I would love to go to a sex party. I think it's fun. I, mean, I think that it's a chance to cut loose and be yourself. And, like, there's no judgment. Everyone's just there Everybody's to have just a trying to get off. Time. And so, like, it don't matter what you look like. Like, you got what they want, then they're like, hey, what's up? Like, I don't care what you look like. I'm just trying to get it in, you know? So, like, 
See, I really don't want to go because my cousin went one and he got HIV. So I haven't really don't want to go because. Well, see, like, that's the that's thing. The you have to go to a condom safe, or a gym. Safe, 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 sex, safe, sex, safe, sex. I cannot say it enough. If you are going to be hooking up with strangers, if you're going to be going to sex parties, sex clubs, whatever, use a condom and don't let them give the excuse of, I don't like the way they feel. They make sheepskin condoms if you're allergic to latex. Yeah. I don't like the way they feel my black ass. You use a condom because you don't know unless you can look at that person unless they can bring a piece of paper to you that says bam i'm std free you can't trust it you don't matter what they say they you need proof and I other you, than that you're right you're I risking you go with them and get it tested and then exactly or go with yeah. them and get tested or whatever but if you're going to go to something like an orgy a sex party whatever you always use a condom and you don't fuck with anybody unless they're using a condom that's all there is to it that's the only way to protect yourself so okay here's another topic so would y'all would any of y'all ever have like sex without a condom Carol. I have had sex with my mom. Oh, yeah. that fucking happened. You tell us. Oh, Look, <laughs> all right, y'all, I know I just bitched the fuck out about her. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell, tell them what I was bitching to you about. Spell, spell but tea, let me be know. honest with you. Okay, like, I have had more than my fair share of unprotected sex, you know, and I'm going to, like, move your legs real quick. I'm going to knock on someone that I have not gotten pregnant or caught an STD. It is so unsafe. Um, a lot of times when I was having sex unprotected, I was younger, I wasn't really worried about it. I was kind of just doing what I wanted. Um, but it, I mean, it's really stupid. It don't matter how old you are, unless you know 110% that the person that you are with is disease free and has Especially never if you're had a female. disease has never, you know, anything like that, unless you know for a fact, then you need to stay tested or just wrap it before you tap it. Wrap it in latex or she'll be getting your paycheck. So, Toby. Oh my God, don't, let me pin me in this yeah, no, oh, no, 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 no. You put her in front? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. this, this is what I'm gonna say straight up. I've, I've had, I've only had unprotected Technically, if, if, if we're being specific, I've had unprotected sex twice. I actually, motherfucker. You're trying to play footsies with me, aren't Hold you? Hold the fuck on. <laughs> you know, all the times Mark and me did it, the first, we, we used protection. We did not at all. We did not. Oh, but I got tested. Right, come off right but, now. But I got tested, though. Because I didn't feel more gaming for many years. No, gonna read it. Yeah, so scared. Wait, 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 we we're gonna talk about it off the camera because yeah. I, I have a bone. Okay, but yeah, and so, but um, yeah, and I was so blessed that I didn't catch anything from him. But he can think, oh, we, we had this protection, we're not gonna get pregnant. I'm like, but Mark, diseases. Us gays get diseases and shit. So. Yeah, and you know what? Like, I think that that should end our topic for today's yes. discussion. Um, thank y'all again for watching. Thank like I said, just use condoms, use Be protection. Safe. Be safe. I am an advocate for <laughs> fucking free love, you know. Do whoever, whenever, obviously legal. <laughs> Don't be fucking with people underage if you are over 18. But I am a hardcore advocate for, I think that you should live your best life. I think that you should do whatever you feel makes you feel good, whether you're a man or female. If you want to fuck 50 guys, bitch, I say go for it. Just be safe. Be safe. Right. All right? That's the that's going to be our sign-off message from yeah. here on out. Love be safe. We love y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace. Deuces. Yeah.